Hey everybody, it's Joe from greenlightsound.com and today we're going to talk about how we can make any of our Waves plugins, or really any other older plugin that doesn't have oversampling, sound better just by loading it into a plugin chainer that's new from DDMF. This is Super Plugin right here on the left. Now DDMF already had Meta Plugin, which was kind of a bigger brother to this one with more routing options, but this is really all you need if you're using it for oversampling. Of course, you can do other stuff. You can load a bunch of different plugins within the plugin chain. You can do multi-band processing on them. Lots of cool things. But the real feature we want this for is the real-time OS or the offline OS, but we'll do it with real-time, where we can do oversampling on any of these plugins that don't include them, like the Waves. They don't include oversampling in Waves plugins. And oversampling is really important when you've got any saturation, distortion, or non-linearities in a plugin, because if you have that, and of course, depending on your sample rate, you might have some aliasing where we're getting these unmusical harmonics bouncing back into the audible spectrum and kind of messing up the signal that way. I'll show you what I mean over in another DDMF tool, Plugin Doctor. So jumping over to Plugin Doctor here, we're on the harmonic analysis. I've got Super Plugin loaded up. I'll move it out of the way. Within Super Plugin, we've got Shep's Omni Channel, which is a great Waves plugin. And the harmonic analysis shows the input signal here. That's the large pink spike. This is all kind of just plug-in noise down here, not really audible. I don't have the pre on now, which is why you're not seeing any sort of overtones or harmonics. But as soon as I put that saturation in, you can see them right here, trailing down all those harmonics. As I push up the input signal to higher frequencies, you can see those harmonics getting bounced back. That is aliasing. They're kind of crossing all over one another, very unmusical at this point. So here's our fundamental frequency right here and all this junk being pushed back here. Now, if I go over to Super Plugin again, and I move the oversampling to its different options, you'll see what happens. At two times, we see a reduction, for sure, in the aliasing. Four times, even greater reduction. Eight times, it's getting really low here. Here's our input. And you probably couldn't do this on a computer unless you had a really powerful one, but 16 times oversampling does a lot there too. So if I turn it off, all this noisy hash stuff. If I turn it back on, I usually go with four times, a big reduction in it. Jumping back to a mix here, what I'm going to do is bypass both of these plugins and play a bass part. This doesn't have any saturation from Shep's Omni Channel on it yet, just the regular bass part. All right, so I'm going to load this plugin on. This is just Shep's Omni Channel inserted on the channel itself. Right over here, you can see it not within Super Plugin. So only Shep's Omni Channel, a ton of saturation without any oversampling. Then I'll jump over to Super Plugin. I'm going to put that oversampling on four times. The same exact plugin set up the same exact way. I've got Shep's Omni Channel loaded right here, but now it's oversampled. So we're going to go back and forth between these two really quickly. I'm going to jump over to the channel itself. I'm going to power on just Shep's on the channel, no oversampling. Then I'll quickly go to Super Plugin with the oversampling and we'll listen for the difference. Jumping back to no oversampling, we'll let this stretch on a little bit longer this time. And now back to oversampling. The difference may be subtle, but there is a difference. I feel sort of a, a warmness and smoothness to the oversampled version versus the 
regular waves, not oversampled version being a little bit harsher sounding, if, for lack of a better word. So we can really smooth things out with any of these nonlinearities using this really simple and pretty inexpensive tool. So there we go, an easy way to make any of our waves plugins or really any plugins that don't have oversampling included sound better by putting them within Super Plugin, turning that oversampling on, and just smoothing things out, getting ready for that aliasing. If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already, so we can keep you in the loop as to what's coming up next, and I'll see you in the next one.